Neville definitely would. Longbottom is married. No! But before you lose all hope, cast the dark mark and call your Death Eater pals over to declare your love for Voldemort. There are still loads of single Pringles from Gryffindor and Slytherin to get your raven claws all over for some of that good old Hufflepuff fun. Yep, we're doing a Harry Potter relationship update. First up, Neville Longbottom, aka Matthew Lewis, just married. No, not Luna Lovegood, but American lifestyle blogger Angela Jones. Matt posted an adorable pic to share the news and galloping gargoyles, this is too cute. According to Angela's blog, the couple first met when she was working in the VIP team at the actual Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Oh. Next, Hermione, Emma Watson, just broke up with Glee star called Overstreet. Boo. The guys were first spotted together leaving the Vanity Fair Oscars party, but after six months, they've apparently cast an avatar Vada Kedavra curse, unfollowing each other on Instagram. A source told the Daily Prophet, oh, oh sorry, the, the Sun, that things just haven't worked out between them and they are both now single again. And if you're still wearing a pair of I'd get sleazy for Ronald Weasley pants like I am. Uh, Rupert Grint is still off the market. The star's longtime relationship with Georgia Groom is apparently still going strong, with Georgia spotted hanging out with Rupe at the shoot for the second season of Snatch back in January. But what about the chosen one? Well, reports that Harry Potter, Daniel Radcliffe, has proposed to his long-term girlfriend, Erin Dark, are apparently not true yet. Justin Bieber is a massive fan of rapper Post Malone, so much so that he's starting to morph into him. The pop star took to Instagram and told his 100 million followers that good old Posty was his man crush Monday. Then the baby singer took to his Instagram story and shared several posts of his long locks and facial hair with the caption, long hair, don't care, and my stash is gorgeous. With a follow-up post, I'm going to grow my hair down to my toes. I can't actually say I'm surprised though that he wants to now have another hair change. Don't you remember the infamous side swoop that every teenage boy wanted back in 2009, and we can't forget the bleach blonde hairdo he gave us back in 2015. Whether he has a short back in size or grows his hair like Hagrid from Harry Potter, I think fans will still be crushing on him. Everyone's favourite show, well mine, Love Island is coming back on your telly very soon and there might be some celeb surprises in store. While the majority of the cast has been announced, it sounds like Little Mix star Leanne Pinnock's older sister Sarah could also be set to enter the villa. We apparently won't be seeing her for the first coupling as she's set to be a drop-in later on in the series. You know, just to mix things up a little. See what I did there? Sorry. Let me continue. Sarah could be stirring things up a little bit in there as she's known to be a right party girl, even running her own party planning business. Apparently she's been given the thumbs up by little sister Leanne, so let's sit back, relax and see if she's our type on paper. Hi, welcome to another episode of Celebrity Datathon. With me, your host, some guy who looks a bit like Shia LaBeouf. Let's meet our first contestant. Mm -hmm. Please give a warm welcome to 25-year-old model slash actor Cara Delevingne and 28-year-old actor Ashley Benson. These two lovebirds were spotted leaving Lucky Strike nightclub together, holding hands and even more recently, sharing a kiss. <laughs> On the cheek. Calm down. Understandably, these two have got social media boiling, wondering if this is a more than a friends thing. But is this just fan speculation or something more serious? Mm -hmm. You know him from a world famous boy band, you know her from the silver screen and her music, and they know each other from a public snog at BBC's biggest weekend in Swansea. It's only Niall Horan and Hayley Steinfeld. There's been rumours about these two for a while now, and they've been spotted by Radio 1 producer Fiona Hanlon, who said something lovely about them on Nick Grimshaw's radio show. Aww. I haven't actually said it yet. They were snogging, they were. So cute. Now you can do it. Aww. Okay. Mm -hmm. This next couple are feeling pretty shy, so please give a lovely warm welcome to Ariana Grande and new boo, Pete Davidson. After making it Instagram official for the first and second and third time this week, we've now been treated to this picture of them sharing an actual kiss. Captioned, I thought you into my life. Whoa, look at my mind. That's killed the vibe a bit, to be honest. You're not gonna find that printed on Valentine's Day cards, are you? Best of luck though, guys. Let's move on. <laughs> And our last contestants are young Jaden Smith from America, USA, taking his girlfriend Odessa Adlon to prom. And don't they just look content and a tiny bit uncomfortable? Jaden's interests include Twitter philosophy and long walks away from his parents' shadows. He captioned this picture on Twitter, We went to prom. This picture describes the experience. Ah, she's a lucky, lucky girl. Well, good luck, Jaden, on your second prom. Second prom? Why? I really do not understand what's going on over there at all. Mm -hmm.